Let's get to Storm Team 8 meteorologist Scott Larson now. Scott, tell us about the supermoon that we could soon see. Yeah, the supermoon is going to be shining bright in our skies tonight. We've had some beautiful weather out there today. Just a few clouds continuing to drift through our skies. Expecting to have mostly clear conditions for tonight. Here's a look at the sunset and moonrise times. You can see that we'll have sunset occur at 837 tonight. The moon coming up at 830. So we'll have a long period of time to be able to check that out. It sets at 502 in the morning tomorrow and it'll be illuminated at 100. 100%. A couple of uh, characteristics that make this moon special. Well, this is going to be traveling in closer proximity to the Earth, so it's going to appear brighter and also larger than what is normal. This is also a seasonal blue moon. It's the third full moon that has occurred in the summer season. So, again, unique on a couple of different facets there. As we check out future casts, you can see that there may be a bank of clouds that shifts through portions of central lower Michigan toward Mount Pleasant, Ionia, and also Hastings. But overall, mostly clear skies are favored to occur for tonight as the wind continues to trickle in out of the north. Might want to put on a jacket or a sweatshirt if you're going to be uh, getting outside taking a little photography of the moon. And it looks like as we go through tomorrow morning, we should have uh, pleasant conditions for the wake up. Lots of sunshine expected to be in the mix tomorrow as temperatures make it back into the 70s in the afternoon. Here's a look at our lows for tonight. Falling off to 48 in White Cloud in Howard City, 49 degrees in Nuego, 47 in Big Rapids. So again, make sure that you're uh, Putting on a sweatshirt or something to stay comfortable if you're going to be checking out the supermoon. 50, the low temperature tonight in Grand Rapids, dipping down to 49 in Hudsonville and Rockford, 50 degrees in Lowell. And meanwhile, further south, a similar spread of upper 40s and lower 50s across the board, including 49 in Dwajak, 49 in Schoolcraft, 51 degrees in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. So looks like we'll have a pretty stunning sight out there. Hopefully you have an opportunity to uh, get some pictures of the supermoon. And of course, make sure to send those to us, weatherwoodtv.com.